All right, well, fucking bust it out. Bust it out. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> All right, we're back out at Longton Fab. Got that effing coyote car out here. Gonna get to work on things. Uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you hiding it so fucking high? Because you're so tall, I keep thinking I'm like trying to get the Just car <laughs> in you. You're gonna lose your arm like that. No, no. All right, we're back out at Longton Fab. We got the car out here. Are you reaching up? Your fucking arms going to fuck. <laughs> I don't have an issue. Hold it like this. No, take, I, I take got your it, hand though. out of that thing. I'm, I'm filming. No, right take now. your get hand. Get away. Get away. <laughs> uh, like I said in the last video, headed over to the U.S. last weekend. Picked up the parts for the changes that we're gonna make this year. Not gonna make a ton of changes. Gonna focus a lot on traveling and getting to more events and hopefully getting some more coverage for everyone on YouTube. Another thing is we're kind of getting to the limitation of a lot of stuff on the car. Uh, so the first thing we're going to be doing is actually pulling it down to a 69 millimeter pulley. Uh, it's got a 72 millimeter on it right now. Going down to that, it's going to be about 15, 16 pounds of boost, which is getting to the limitation of the engine, the limitation of the injectors, the fuel system, and the blower, pretty much everything. So, what? Pick one up. Just listen, I'm filming today, so you fucking do what I'm okay, saying, right? Okay, all right. <laughs> So yeah, so yeah, so we're pretty much at the, getting to the limitation of everything. So the next steps from here are thousands and thousands of dollars. And also this year, apparently a lot of these race cars are going from small tire and true street and going down to daily driver classes. Excuse me. Excuse me. What are you doing? So it might be difficult for this car to compete because this is actually a true street car that has air conditioning, leather seats, you know, all the stuff that a true street car has. Um, there are some lightweight stuff we put on the car, but pretty much all the regular comforts are still in the car. So that's the way I want to keep the car. I don't want to make the car into a race car. So it's going to stay street. It's going to stay comfortable. Um, but like I said, we just want to try to get to some more races, experience some different tracks and uh, get out there and have some fun. So the first mod that we're going to do is going to be the pulley going down to a 69 millimeter pulley. Uh, we're also going to change the idler here, uh, which will give us a little bit more belt wrap. Uh, the smaller idler on it, we don't get a ton of belt wrap. Haven't had any belt slip yet, but we might as we pull it down, so hopefully this will help. Um, we did want to get a hasty bracket, but I guess the hasty brackets, if anyone that's familiar with them, they're not available anymore. Um, so if anyone out there has a hasty bracket, let me know because it might be interested. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll hop into getting the first install done. Well, we've already ran into our first problem. Uh, the idler pulley here does not fit on properly got to grind out a piece of this bracket looks like right in here's got to be ground out or this idler pulley's not going to work we'll make her work good thing bo's got his grind grinding my ship. brand new bits yeah his brand new bits like <laughs> ruined by aluminum yeah he's gonna clog them all up <laughs> <laughs> so there we go hot rod <laughs> there we go long -term fab coming in clutch got her all trimmed down there Enough room for the pulley to spin. Leave it down. No, bro, it's no, you need you the car. It. You want it up? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm filming here, yeah, right? You're filming here. <laughs> Take off. All right, so we got the pulley on, 69 millimeter pulley now. Uh, car should make 15 to 16 pounds of boost. This is the smallest pulley you can fit on here. Just barely slid on. The only way to make more boost with this TVS, I guess, is with uh, 15 or 20% lower. But like I said earlier, we're at the, the max kind of this setup. And what I mean by that, we got FIC 1000 injectors, so they're kind of, you know, probably gonna be close to 100% duty cycle now. We'll find out when we start data logging. Um, we got the two pump uh, four innovation system, and I think they were 274 pumps or 285 pumps. So basically we probably wanna go to a three pump system now, bigger injectors, but at the same time, we've maxed out the blower and we've maxed out the stock Gen 3. So yeah, long story short, we're kind of at uh, the limit of everything. And obviously with the transmission, it's been holding up well, but we're way beyond technically the limit of an MT82 kind of. Go knock on that time. wood. Go knock on that wood over there. <laughs> so yeah, nice with that uh, VMP 100 millimeter uh, idler on there. Gives us a little bit more uh, belt wrap. So seemed all right with that belt. That's still the stock belt. I thought maybe we might have to change it, but we'll run it and see what happens. But it seemed like it all fit pretty good. So yeah. On to the next mod, which will probably be tomorrow or in the next couple days. All right, so we're on to the next mod. 
Uh, we went ahead and got a reservoir for the clutch, so a separate reservoir. Crazy enough, I didn't even know that was something that was available for these cars. Uh, one of the subscribers actually messaged me and said that he picked up the same clutch and shifters I had, etc., and then mentioned about the external reservoir for the clutch. And uh, yeah, so we picked that up. Hopefully that'll help with the issues we had with the clutch and brake fade. Uh, hopefully this helps separating it so if there was any heat in either or. I know a lot of like the road course stuff or like open lapping for these cars, stick shift, they recommend to run the external clutch reservoir. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helps with the issue that we had with the clutch, clutch issues and brake fade. All right, so we got that all installed. Super, super simple. All we had to do is pull the clutch line off here. Uh, this kit came with a plug, so we got the plug, uh, got that all plugged up there. Um, there's the new reservoir there. Just hooked up the clutch line underneath there. Didn't really need bleeding, put a bit of fluid in it, all good, but that's basically it to installing that. Literally took like two, three minutes. So yeah, that's done, there she is. All right, on to the next one. We got a shift light, new shift light, going from the ODB2 one that we had in the car. Um, we had to get rid of that because it's the data log, we need to plug into the ODB2 port. So we bought the exact same shift light, but hardwired. So gotta get this installed up in the car. I'm probably just gonna bump into the wiring for the watt box to get this going, but yeah, another another small mod or change that's probably not gonna take too long, but we'll go ahead and get this installed. Knock on wood. No. Knock on wood. <laughs> All right, so that shift light turned into a bit more of an ordeal than uh, expected. So wiring into the watt box was not a good idea. I uh, got wired into the coil switch on the watt box and went to fire the car up and it wouldn't start, wouldn't get any spark, so had to reverse all that. So yeah, I had to hardwire it right up onto the coil. So went to the negative side of the coil uh, up front. Uh, still picked up the power signal off the same source as the watt box. And luckily enough, there was a nice ground just in behind the kick panel on the driver's side. So, so yeah, we got it all, all hooked up. The shift light's all good to go. Um, that's gonna wrap up everything for the car for this video, but we do have more coming. All right, so we, what were you up to this week, Bo? Was I up to? Yeah. I've been messing with these brakes. Yeah, messing with brakes. Looks like you got them all uh, set up now. Now that Adam came and helped me out, yeah. After a week of fucking around. Yeah, well, they were a little wonky. The one bracket you were saying was bent up, right? We need Adam. I don't, we, we need Adam. Just, was it just the bracket or what? Well, the right hand brake went on fine. I guess so it went on good. Break, the bracket was a little... It still is a little weird, but... They it's just fit work. weird. They're yeah. not the same as my other ones. I kind of like my old ones better. So it should be a roller again soon? Yeah. I mean, yeah, we just pretty much got to bleed the brakes. For the most that's, part, that's about we're it. We're good at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got lots of experience with bleeding brakes. All right, let's go see what Adam, we'll get an update from Adam. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ready for an update, Adam? People know what, know what you're up to this week. Oh, oh yeah. Getting yeah. back together. Well, Adam, Adam's out here tonight. We were out here for a couple nights without Adam, but Take Adam's care. back after his Easter long weekend and all of his uh, Easter egg hunts. <sighs> Too much chocolate. Yeah, with the whip this week. We were building a little wiring harness from the reg wreck back over to the stator there. We yeah. got the stator all in the last time we were out, so. Looks like it mounts it up right into the factory spot. Well, that's pretty sick. Yeah, pretty stoked about that. Yeah, get that all wired up and yeah. then it should be good and Giving all. Giving her some power here and tie that into the battery and make some connections over here from the stator and that's it. Be all chargy. And you guys are gonna be taking this, I guess, on the May 2-4 weekend. Oh yeah, yeah. look out Mattawa. Uh, so you guys will have to get some footage from that. Oh yeah, there's so always plug footage. Her, plug her into the video after Mattawa. Just drop a little here. Drop a little, yeah. Well, you can see our forestation videos. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna reforest maybe. Reseeding program. Yeah. Reseeding program? Oh yeah, we're, we're like... <laughs> Yeah, you get out of here. She's just negative. She doesn't like our reseeding progress. <laughs> She's not a... She doesn't yeah. like trees. Oh, there it is. Straight to the tree hate. Yeah, you guys have to be uh, recording some shit while you're there, and we'll plug her in the yeah. YouTube video. Yeah, so, we do a lot of reseeding up there. We plant lots of trees yeah. every year. <laughs> every year we're there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> More comes. Well, it's like birds, right? It's like lots of... Well, there's many different animals and stuff that oh, yeah. eat seeds, and, animals, and then you yeah. put, they poop them out, and then they grow somewhere else, or birds that pick them up and... Take them for a hike. And then, then there's guys on ATVs that, that just take them down. Full <laughs> speed. <laughs> <laughs> Flat. Yeah. Good trajectory sometimes though. You got a whole receding area each yeah. tree. You can point it towards the east, whatever. <laughs> you <guys do. laughs> See which way the dominant mm -hmm. wind is this year. And yeah. Point it that way. Yeah. Sweet. We're good. All right. Well, that's gonna wrap up this week. We'll catch you next week. More updates next week, hopefully. Still waiting on some parts for the car, but there is something else that we can get started on possibly in the next week or so. And I guess Bo will keep plugging away at the Impala, and Adam will finish wrapping up the ATV here. So. 
We'll catch you guys next week. Bye, Adam. Peace. Bye, Bo. Peace out. Oh. Throw that in there at the end. You might as well. You yeah. got it, you know. Coyote power, baby. <laughs> if you get a rude window, you might as well. <laughs>